Hey guys, welcome to iFood Real YouTube channel. We are continuing our healthy Instant Pot series and today we're making Instant Pot lasagna. And my lasagna is different from all other recipes on the web because you don't need spring form pan for it. Ta-da! And make sure to watch till the end where I'm gonna show you how to keep the lid out of your way. It's the trick many people don't know about Instant Pot. Let's do it! Press saute and wait until display says hot. It will take between three to five minutes. Then you add a little bit of oil to coat and add ground turkey. So then start breaking with spatula and add Italian seasoning, or I use equal parts of oregano, thyme, and rosemary, and garlic powder. And also salt and pepper go in, in right now. You do want to season the meat and then it will flavor the pasta and the sauce. So keep cooking ground turkey until small brown pieces. It takes about five minutes. Instant Pot doesn't really brown the meat, so don't wait for the, you know, that caramelized brown char on the meat and you don't have to. So as long as it's small pieces. Alrighty. Okay. So now you want to remove half of the turkey into a bowl to save for the layers. All right. And press uh, cancel on your Instant Pot. So now it's time to layer the lasagna. So add two cups of water and take four lasagna sheets, break them in half and layer. Just like that. Any direction, gaps are fine. And you can use any uh, pasta, white pasta, whole wheat pasta, whole grain, of course, is more nutritious. But you can also use brown rice one too. So then add chopped kale or baby spinach. I'm using baby spinach today. I would just sprinkle a layer and then break another for lasagna noodles and layer on top. So now you add the ground turkey from the bowl, the one we reserved before, and then another layer of spinach and kale. And you notice how I don't add cottage cheese or ricotta cheese, that's because mm, dairy doesn't really cook well in the Instant Pot. And honestly, I'm not gonna miss it because I'm not a fan of it. And now we're going to pour a 14 ounce can of just simple, um, tomato sauce. It doesn't have any spices and I'm using low sodium one. And now we're going to break just last four lasagna noodles, layer them on top and pour another can of tomato sauce. Obviously you do not stir. So now put the lid on top, close, then we turn uh, the valve to ceiling position and press pressure cook on high pressure for seven minutes. So after seven minutes of cooking time, you have to let uh, the pressure come down naturally for 10 minutes. And after that, turn the pressure valve to venting. So now you can open the lid and here is the trick I was gonna show you is you can put it on a side. Ta-da, so it's out of your way. So lasagna will be a little bit watery and saucy, which is totally okay. The longer lasagna sits, pasta will absorb the liquid, so don't worry about that. Now is the time to add one cup of cheese and I'm using old cheddar. You can use mozzarella, any soft cheese that melts well. Just sprinkle it on top. You don't want to cook uh, in Instant Pot with cheese because it will curdle and just not gonna be good. And we really don't have to cook the cheese. We just wanna melt it. Mm -hmm. 
And I also like to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You don't have to, but lasagna usually calls for Parmesan cheese. And now we're going to close the lid again and let lasagna sit for five minutes to just melt the cheese. So when lasagna is cooked, it will be soft enough. You can cut with a knife or a spatula, sprinkle with parsley, and then you can serve.